welcome to our channel. We are Gazelle Tarot and we read your tarot almost every single day. I have such an honor to be here with you. I would like to welcome all our new subscribers. We have gained a few new subscribers during our monthly Zodiac Read for January 2020. Welcome. We don't normally do videos like this, but today is a special honor where I am uh, having uh, a celebration of life for my late fiance, my late partner, whom passed away uh, three years ago today. And this is the first time I've ever been able to talk about it. So it took me three years to be able to be ready to talk about it. And I am excited to do it now. I do it with a smile. I've been crying a lot, but I'm, I'm ready now to do it with a smile and with an honor and with respect and integrity of uh, the memories that we share and the presence that uh, we still share in each other's life today. And I would not be able to be doing this without the love and support of my subscribers, my viewers, my birdies. I receive so many private messages and I receive so many public messages as well of people supporting me on this day, giving me advice of whether or not I should do this unboxing. I think I'll do another unboxing on our anniversary as well. Um, but this, this is a very, very special deck. And one thing that inspired me was our viewer named Liz, and she gave me these very beautiful feathers. And it's a cool thing when, when doves and all birds, from parrots to two doves, when they molt, they always lose the same wing on each side. So that way they always fly, like, you know, in unison. They're never lopsided, so it's just natural. And Liz said she found these two feathers together uh, in a tree and she thought of me and she sent them to me for Christmas. So that's kind of what is the story behind me having this strength today. It's just like, you know, the random act of kindness or the very thoughtful, provoking act of kindness, which is in Liz's case of sending me these beautiful feathers, gave me the strength to stand before you here today and uh, unbox this beautiful uh, tarot deck or this oracle deck in honor of my uh, late partner. And also, I'm showing you my very venerable form. I am wearing, this is the last, um, uh, he loved to buy me nightgowns. And this is the last nightgown he gave me before he died. It's very pretty. It's long and tapering. And he, he liked me wholesome. He liked me, he liked me in my natural state. I'm very plain girl, you know. I've always thought myself as a, an ugly duckling. And in fact, that was the name of my channel. And Ruth from Kindred Spirit told me no. <laughs> no. So I'm Gazelle. My initials are all L. And uh, I turned into Gazelle Tarot. And so here we are together uh, over a year later, uh, celebrating the love and light of my life, which is my partner. Um, I'd like to show you just a few little things about him, just so you can feel a connection with him too. Uh, because I really believe in, in vulnerability and transparency. And I also truly believe that it's in strength that you're able to be vulnerable. You know, you can't get much more vulnerable. I'm in bed right now in my nightgown, surrounded in my natural habitat. Like, you, I can't get any more vulnerable than this. And here I am. Uh, and this is a partner, uh, my picture of my, my uh, late partner. And he's wearing his favorite hat. And... And he'd probably, he'd probably not like it. I don't know what he was thinking about, but I am wearing his hat right now as one of the things that he had left behind for me. And so here I am wearing his hat. Yeah, the same hat he's wearing in the picture here where he's holding a very beautiful bird he was very proud of uh, holding. This is, a, this is a parrot. And, uh, you know, I spent so much time crying and now I want to smile. I want to smile at all the gifts that he gave me, that all the belief that he gave in my gave to me to have in myself, which allowed me to forge forward in my life, and not just in my everyday life, but also dealing with the fact that I have tumors in my colon now, and uh, he, when he had uh, cancer, he had he had uh, his kidney removed. And he battled with his health, and we were with each other every step of the way. I used to sleep in the hospital with him overnight, uh, under his blanket and underneath all those machines. You know, he had those octopus of all the things over their heart, and he uh, he uh, insisted I sleep with him every night in the hospital, under his blanket, 
and he was always making sure I had water, and he was always making sure I was comfortable, and and to the very end, that was what. And I just want to share another thing that's very profound, and that on his deathbed, he said to me that he loved taking care of me, and that he'd be thankful for any man who would love taking care of me as much as he did, meaning that you know, he wanted me to go on and, and have a full life because I'm still relatively young. But I I don't know. I, I can't imagine anyone ever loving me in that way. I don't know. I just... I don't know if that could ever happen again. But my spirit is full of love. And I really feel energy when I, when I hold and kiss our little birdies that we share together. And uh, we were really bonded by our love for animals. He was an avid cat lover. And uh, because of me, he became an avid bird lover. And I also show you one last photo of him before we break into the deck. And that is him holding sunshine. Can you see sunshine here? This little, little yellow fuzzy thing? That is sunshine when sunshine was a baby. And uh, he named sunshine because sunshine was a little yellow uh, cotton ball. And now Sunshine's this great big giant peace pigeon. So that's what I'm going to share. I did pretty good. I didn't cry too much. Like, you know, give a thumbs up for me not keeping it together here. <laughs> but I really, I also want this to be not only in, in gratitude and honor and a celebration of my partner's life, but also the fact, like, these beautiful feathers sent to me by a viewer, like one of our birdies by Liz sent me these beautiful feathers and it just gave me the strength and my heart is actually aching right now and I, I I hate to say it I almost feel like a panic attack is coming on but it's just because my love and my dedication to you guys to my channel to my viewers I just feel like I can override that right this very moment as much as I want to like burst into tears and stuff I'm going to keep it together because I am celebrating life here and we're celebrating life here together on this channel. So thank you again to Liz for your beautiful feathers who inspired me to have the strength today to get up here and profess the love of the love of my life as well as just say thanksgiving for all our viewers. And you know all whom you are. I'd love to list all your names, but you know who you are. You've made such a difference and I hope I make a difference in your life too. We have a lot of people that are ostracized and lonely for a variety of different reasons. My Venus is an Aquarius, uh, so I appear kind of loose sometimes. So some people think that I, I'm very distant and I'm caring and I'm not very sociable. Which is the everything is true except that the the well I'm not very sociable, but I am very loving. In fact, I'm so loving I'm almost too sensitive. So I hide that with my Venus and Aquarius, and I've also been previously diagnosed being on the autistic spectrum on a sense of so sometimes my social manormities where people just judge me or be cruel to me uh, or discriminate against my personality is quite unfair um, but it's the way they are and they have to deal with that in their own terms and I forgive them that's okay it doesn't matter to me I'm, I'm under great care now I see an oncologist I have lumps in my colon and, uh, you know, I'm doing okay. I'm fighting each day as it, with a good fight. And, and I'm doing that with love, light, and prayer. And celebrating with my channel. You know, I never thought I would ever be vulnerable here lying in my own bed. You know, like, this is this is it. This is my life. This is like you're my best friend sitting, in the, sitting on my bed having a chat with me now. Which is pretty special. Which is pretty vulnerable. And to me, again, I can't say it enough. Vulnerability is strength. When you're vulnerable and you say you need help, you're strong. When you're vulnerable and you admit that you're hurt, you're strong. When you're vulnerable and you admit that you're a human being, that's okay. Because that's what we are. You know, we're going to have ups and downs. And what we do is we grasp you know, how, long, how hard it is. We grasp onto what's beauty. And here are these beautiful feathers here or an indication of that. And also I'm wearing my favorite bracelet that he gave me. He gave me gold and diamonds and not frankincense and myrrh, but he gave me 
<laughs> he gave me gold and diamonds and he gave me this beautiful uh, bracelet with my name on and the little heart and uh, I really love it because I love the crystals and um, you know when you love someone to become a part of who you are so I can't imagine ever being loved again I really can't I can't see how anyone would love me again but at the same time I'm so grateful for the love I did have you know, perhaps the love that I share with my partner is going to be enough, enough to sustain me for the rest of my life. But I know through spirit and guidance and hope and fortitude and just even the, the relationship that I have with my subscribers, we are going to make it together. We're going to be the best versions of ourselves and we're going to be kind to ourselves and we're going to forgive ourselves when we fail. These are the messages that I feel called to tell you. So now let's break into this absolutely gorgeous oracle deck dedicated to my late partner who truly loved animals and birdies. And it has been often said by people that, you know, you find feathers and you see cardinals when, uh, you know, people who had transitioned on have, uh, you know, sending messages for you from heaven. So I'm opening this now, the cellophane. Honestly to goodness, I don't even remember when I purchased this deck or how I got it. I don't even remember how I got it. I honestly, I could take a lie, lie, lie detector right now and I couldn't tell you where I even got it from. But I know I had it and I know I was going to dedicate it to him. And I just never had the strength to open it before. It was too, too hard. So here we are now doing the unboxing lovely box I love a good box it says in the back this inspirational deck brings the angelic insights and healing energy to associated with finding feathers for those who seek divine guidance from the mystical realm of birds double-sided cards present feather arts on one side with a watercolor image of the bird and affirmation message on the reverse the guidebook shares special stories about 44 different birds and relates to their natural symbolism, color, seasons, elements, and special energies. So how special is that? This is perfect. It's like my partner sent this to me. You know, this is wonderful. Ooh, nice book. Now, do you know another thing? Whenever I see peacock feathers, I always think of Ruth because Ruth of... Uh, Kindred spirit, she how often she has the beautiful peacock feathers. I really love Ruth and Kindred spirit. I'm gonna just gonna lean over here for a second and grab you the postcard that she sent me for Christmas. This is the postcard that Ruth and Ruby sent me for uh, for Christmas, which is very lovely indeed. So I have that. You'll see this postcard on a lot of my readings in the background because it's very very dear to me. And uh, so there we go. Now let's do our unboxing now. So the box is lovely. Uh, the booklet is here. It's uh, not in color, which I'm cool with. And it breaks it down into energy, season, element, color, and affirmation. And there's a little inset here and a swan. Oh my gosh, the swan. I wanted to be the ugly duckling. And look, the first card's the swan. Isn't that cool? Hmm, they say there's no such thing as coincidences. So here's the wee swan. I'll open this up here. Thank you guys for being with me. This is such a difficult day. You have no idea how much it means to me to sharing this with you. So thank you so very much for being with me. I feel your love, your prayers, and your strength. And I'm keeping it together pretty good. I cried all night long and now I'm ready to say, I'm ready to celebrate. I'm ready to like say, wow, like Dr. Seuss said, smile that it happened. Don't cry that it's over because it's not over. Once you love someone, they're a part of your heart. They never leave you. So here we open up the white swan, which could not be a coincidence. Again, let's again, let's take a look at Liz's feathers. I really love these, Liz. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. So, White Swan, the power of the divine and grace is within you. Let's see if we can get a good angle on them. And then in the background, 
a white, white beautiful white feather. White turkey, the power to heal your the earth is within you. I know the people who worked with the pardoned turkeys of the U.S. presidential uh, Thanksgiving party. So that is pretty cool. I love turkeys. And look at the wee feather. Very beautiful feather. White eagle, the connection to the divine and guidance is within you. And at the end of this video, we will do uh, an oracle reading. White Owl, the wisdom and messages of the divine are within you. So this is the wisdom, the other was divine power. And there is the beautiful feather. Blackbird, the magical and unique qualities of your untapped potential are unfolding now. I feel like that's almost speaking to me now. Beautiful black feather. Bluebird. You are being gifted with blessings of happiness and peace. All of these are speaking to me. It is because of you, my subscribers. You're watching me blossom. Blue Jay, the time is right to assess and master your abilities. Do so with humility and control. Very important. Blue Jay Feather. Canary, we have canaries here. Step forward now and sing your song. There is power in finding your voice. Definitely. Cardinal. This is most people's favorite spiritual animal. Stands tall and proud. See the leadership role unfolding ahead of you. Cardinals are very strongly associated with uh, the deceased people uh, making themselves known. And here's the wee chickadee dee dee dee. The time is right to release old patterns and energy. You're ready to embrace change. I'm excited we're going to do an oracle at the end of this reading and find out what we're called to. The condor. Hold your highest vision of yourself. You now possess the ability to move past any hurdles. And that was my partner's nickname for my uh, turkey. My turkeys. This was my partner's nickname for my macaws. He called them the condor just because they were so big. The crane. You will soon enter a beneficial partnership. Luck and longevity bless this union. The crow. I grew up with crows and ravens. Universal laws and truths are now being revealed. Use this energy to create your own reality. allow a deeper sense of peace to fill you now. This is the divine quality. I must admit doves doves are exactly that. I share my life in my home now. I have a variety of birds. Most of my birds are rescue birds and uh, my doves and I are very, 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 very close as well as all my birds. I have macaws, alvin gray parrots, canaries. And here's a wee duck. Find comfort and balance in simple ways. You have support from all those around you. That's a lovely card. And from my channel, that's me. In my everyday life, I have my doctors, my oncologist, my nurse. But I, you know what I'm saying? It's just so difficult when you isolate yourself. But because, you know, in my forgiveness, I forgive everyone. I truly do. I scare people because I, dro I dropped 30 pounds immediately after my partner passed away. And everyone thought it was depression. Actually, it was uh, because I had, well, that was probably part of it, but also because I developed tumors in my colon. So when I eat food, I don't just digest all the nutrients. And my pancreas doesn't function uh, normally right now, so I'm not digesting fats. So you scare people. So I forgive the people that shunned me because I just scared them. Eagle, you are learning all aspects of spiritual connection and reaching new heights. See, and that's forgiveness. Falcon, use your keen perception and skill in making decisions. Do not delay. Finch, new opportunities and choices are opening to you now and claim them. So there we see the wee feathers on the back. Flicker, I love flickers. Oh. New rhythms are coming into your life now. You're encouraged to trust and adapt. How beautiful is that? Goose. 
your dreams and desires are calling you to action. The journey begins today. The growth. Embrace the power of dance and movement and access your highest guidance, calling us to spirit. Hawk, pay attention. A powerful message is being communicated to you now. The heron. Let go of convention and follow your own unique path. I've done that many years ago. <laughs> Woo! I'm an INFJ. I'm also diagnosed uh, psychiatry-wise as being an HSP, a highly sensitive person. And uh, I have a few other letters behind my name. Hummingbird, release what you've been carrying and lighten up. I, a new joy is on its way. I have a neighbor. She's absolutely amazing. She hangs up red towels all around her garden and, and tracks hummingbirds. The Kingfisher. Prosperity is flowing. You have faith that you will receive it in perfect form. My dear friend Tina, she did a meditation with me that included a, a healing a remedy with the Kingfisher coming in and helping heal me. I'm so blessed. You know what? Like... I may not have a lot, I might live below the poverty line, I might, you know, whatever, but I am so blessed because I have the love of my channel, and I have the love of spirit, and I have beautiful doctors, and I have you guys, like, you know what I'm saying, like, even when you feel all that's lost, to lose my partner was the biggest loss I've ever known in my life, and even if I could choose between, you know, having three surgeries in 2019 on my colon, or having, you know, the, the loss of my partner, I would take my partner back. He was more important to me and is more important to me than anything than that. He's the greatest loss I've ever known. Yet the blessing is, is that he's truly not lost. He lives within me. And that's, that's a true wisdom and a gift from spirit to know that and to feel that and to feel his presence. So here we have the loom. Pay attention to your dream time. Messages of guidance are drifting in, and it's sweet because I do dream of my partner. Magpie, reevaluate your priorities. It's time to let go of what you no longer need. Meadowlark, smile. You'll soon experience a wonderful journey in your inner discovery. Mm. Nuthatch. Stay grounded and welcome the new knowledge and perspectives coming to you. Oreo. A new creative adventure is on the horizon. See it as a positive change. That's my wee doves cooing in the background. <laughs> Your success is now at hand. Allow the abundance to flow to you effortlessly. Osprey. We have lots of birds of prey, which are very interesting. Ostrich! I worked with ostriches when I was in Africa. I worked in the third world, uh, in orphanages, and but I've always been more tuned to animals. And I worked in the third world in Africa and also in uh, South America with endangered birds, including endangered parrots as well as uh, oil spilled birds. But I also worked with ostriches. And uh, they were very, very cool. Their, their eggs literally are bigger than my head. And they're really smart individuals. So don't let all the myths you heard about ostriches fool you. The choice is clear from now on. Follow the wisdom and truth that you feel in your heart. An ostrich. I have pictures of me and ostriches. The owl. Your intuition is correct. Follow your inner wisdom without fail. I feel joy in my heart. And I thought I was going to be all tears, and here I am smiling. Does this not prove that your love and prayers are transcending to me and reaching to me? I am so very blessed, so thank you, everybody. Now we have a macaw. I have two macaws, Lucky and Star. And the message is here. Let go of others' thoughts and opinions. It's time to embrace whom you really are. Like, take that, unbelievers. <laughs> I'm not cold and aloof. I just have Venus and Aquarius. And I'm an INFJ. And I was I had I experienced scarlet fever when I was a child. So I actually remember being deaf as a child 
and my family was investigated with child abuse, which they would tell you and they think it's a joke, but um, it, it really did happen uh, because I went to school and I was stone deaf, and they're like, how do you have a stone deaf child and not know? It's just because I was from a, a very rambunctious family, just thought I was a quiet little girl. And, uh, but yeah, so I have memories in my mind uh, and when I was developing my personality at age five of just people ignoring me. And not much has changed. <laughs> but I'm happy now. Peacock, inherent wisdom is emerging at this time. Watch it and ready uh, yourself for a rebirth. Ooh. Uh, so we read these, aren't you wondering like what we're going to draw at the end? Pelican, choose to follow the path for forgiveness and raise your vibration. Forgiveness is where it's at. People who have taken from you have taken enough. Just forgive and move forward. Believe me, you'll feel light as two feathers. <laughs> the pheasant, it's time for, is ripe for creation and connection. Focus your attention on these areas. And again, I'm going to mention Ruth from Kindred Spirit who told us about the pheasants and how we should never spook a pheasant because a pheasant generally has one hop in them a day. So if we scare a pheasant, they may not have the energy to hop away from a true predator. So bear that in mind, not to scare a wildlife. Not that you would ever mean to, but I just be, and I'm always very ginger and careful around them in the beginning. But just keep that in mind. If you see children playing in a park and they, you think they're having fun, and they are, just to remind them that the, we shouldn't spook wildlife because they only have so much energy to offer. And there's a beautiful feather. <gasps> ravens! I grew up in ravens. My mother told me when I was a child, all I liked to do was stare out the window. And I was, of course, I was born in, in December. And uh, so it was winter time. But as soon as I started looking out the window and being aware of my surroundings, ravens, seagulls, and crows, I was fixated on them. And... Uh, the raven is here. The universe is calling you to notice uh, important synchronicities. And ravens are so cool. When they fly, they don't even make a sound. They don't call. They have a deep croak. There's, there's quite a lot of difference between ro uh, crows and ravens. I can do a video on it if you like. But I really know my ravens and I really, really adore them. They, they make my heart lift when I see a raven. And when I went over to film them... Um, I remember I took you across the bridge over into America to, to the post office. I saw three ravens in the tree, and I literally cried from joy in my heart. I felt that much joy. Ravens are that close to my heart. Here we have the robin. New growth and potential is on the horizon. Reach out and embrace it. The starling. Now is the time to get out into the world and connect in authentic ways. The turkey, honor your own time of harvest, offer your gifts and blessings as service to the greater good. No matter whom you are, you have something to give. You have an ear to lend, perhaps you can help teach people how to read, you can keep seniors company, you can keep even people like me company. I'm a, I'm a bit of a shut-in because of my illness, I, you know, with my tumors and everything. And, uh, you know, there's reach out to people in love. And, you know, I actually find reaching out in others with love and, and giving and, and thanksgiving and gratitude is attracting more and more. It's like living the spirit of abundance. The more I give, the more I receive. And uh, the turkey is here to tell us that. And look at the feather. Vulture. Accept the unavoidable. Let go of the past and welcome a rebirth to begin. Vultures are cool people. I was going to say don't poo poo on the vulture. Vultures are, are underrated. They, they have to eat too. They have a sad life and uh, in, a, in a stereotypical way. And I really, I've known vultures at rescue centers and they deserve our love. Woodpeckers, use your discernment and fortitude to achieve your goals and find a new rhythm. I have a friend who feeds wildlife in his backyard. And uh, on Saturday mornings, if he doesn't remember to feed the fill, fill the feeder in time, they'll start knocking at his window. <laughs> and finally, we have the wren. Look at this cute little wren. Be bold and confident. Use all your resources and create your dreams. So this has been a wonderful healing therapeutic video for me. I hope you've enjoyed it. So again, we're going to thank 
uh, Liz for these gorgeous feathers which inspired me the confidence and I feel happy and I don't think I cried in this video so which is really cool you don't need to see me cry I feel with so much joy and vigor and gratitude for my partner and for you and for being a part of my channel and I'm going to give you more and more of me I'm going to make this the best channel possible that I can and I say that with love and light Gregory Scott is a dear friend of mine I really am so touched and honored by him supporting me and sending lovely messages to me and Ruth of Kindred Spirit as well and just to think these professionals who are my mentors are reaching out the humble little me like they have nothing to gain from it other than their true source of love and heart that dwell within them they are truly giving people this card just popped out bluebird you are being gifted with blessings of happiness and peace oh my gosh thank you everybody I love you all so very much I promise to get a tarot reading out to you very very soon I just want to express my love my gratitude thank you for making me stronger and giving me more courage than I ever thought possible I honestly after losing my partner I didn't think there was anything left in me I often referred to his funeral as our funeral because I thought my life was also no longer in this this realm and my subscribers and my friends that I've made through this channel have taught me so much and you've taught me that I have lots of love left to give and I want to thank you each and every one of you so from the bottom of my heart from everyone here from Gazelle Tarot please know that we love you very very deeply thank you for subscribing please share our videos like our videos comment all this helps out in our algorithm and uh, please keep your lovely message coming you really made a difference in my life thank you I love you and bye bye for now